okay, so it's another bar review, and today, I've I've uh, I watched some, I watched Alice go over some replays and talk about, uh, pretty much denying your laner uh, CS, how to do that, how how to freeze a wave, when to freeze a wave, when to push a wave, uh, how to punish, and I I apply that to my games, and I I've, I've been doing this um, the last two games, last three games. And by having great success with it, uh, insane. Uh, basically, later on, you, you'll see me go um, pretty much 100 CS up on my laner towards the end of the game, which is like uh, eight kills up, like extra kills in CS wise. Uh, every time he goes in for for CS because it's frozen, I'll punish him and kill him by by using movement techniques um, by Q alt, a, a Q and animation cancel through with, through with alt, and they, they never expect it. Well, they do, but <laughs> yeah. And basically, uh, my team take, needs time to scale, and their team could uh, pretty much pop off whenever. And basically, me winning my lane allows uh, allows my team to scale and not worry about being too pressured. And yeah, let's just watch this game and see it, see how it goes. So this game isn't like most games. There's some cheesy stuff that happens down here. And I was adjusting some stuff with my stream because I was streaming this game. And fizz. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I was I was trying to see if they come down this way or if we could see them. And the and then Twitch is just catches Thresh and sees by thinks that he's by himself and then just this fiesta happens down here. At level E. I wanted to kill Thresh, but it's fine. And I just E um Xrath so they gotta catch up. Uh I think if Ellen didn't back up I kept chasing, uh, we would have killed him. So already I have a massive advantage, especially as Fizz. And what I'm thinking right here is I've seen uh, Apadobo, Ap that, that guy who, like, uh, the Korean best guy, always number one ladder ranking, um, boosts accounts, doesn't, was banned, doesn't do pro teams anymore because he makes more money boosting. Um, what he would do with Fizz is that he would, just, he would just hit him with E. He would just hop over, jump at him, and hit him with E. And that never really occurred to me that that if they auto me my minions and I eat them, and and I have a uh, advantage because I kill the melee minions as I eat them, and they're slowed for my e, they're gonna take three or two to two minion shots, and I'm gonna win that trade. A lot, really hard. And since he sits you so low, I could just keep eating him and and keep winning those trades. Uh, he picks up on this pretty fast and doesn't let me do that. But does me threatening that denies him CS. And I really need to focus more on CSing. That's something I need to work on. So here, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to E at him. If I didn't jitter, uh, going straight towards him. Yeah, I just didn't want him to throw it out immediately. So right now, so what I'm thinking of right now, lane control, lane manipulation. Where is the cannon wave going to end up? If I shove this in really hard, will the cannon wave be under his tower? Am I going to get three? I want three. I need three. And how do I get that? So, I'm thinking, okay, uh, don't push the wave too hard. Just last hit. And when the, when the cannon wave gets here, I'll have uh, minion advantage, and I'll just push it in and get level three. That's what's going through my head. So I do just, just that. I just last hit. While still trying, try, still trying to deny him CS, trying to punish him, uh, try to get damage in where I can. Okay, and I right hear the second this cannon comes up, I'm thinking level three, I have it. Just push in the wave, uh, but I have, I'm in, a, I'm in a habit of just, just because sometimes it's okay to take like. 200, maybe 250 damage if I get level 3 and then I could win the trade really hard and they're, they're out of mana at that point, right? Uh, but right here, I could juke and still farm. I don't need I don't need to just sit here and just, just, just soak up just some damage. Like, I didn't need to take that. I didn't need to take that either. But I'm 3 and now I could be really aggressive now. I could just go in a tower. I could just mess with them. He started W so I know he doesn't have stun. And I'm trying to get in range to Q him, but he's not letting me. He's 
being really, 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 um, his spacing, his tethering is really on point early on. He gets three from this cannon, and I was like, okay, that's fine. I still have like two charges on my pot, and I'm still really, really, I feel like in the lane, I have a huge advantage. Okay. So I just want to auto. Right now, I could be so fucking aggressive right now. I, I'm being super aggressive. Why? Well, I know basically the way Abuma paths and the way he's going to jungle and, and what's happening top lane, that he's probably going to go top lane. Uh, He's really far behind. He doesn't have a whole lot. I have a huge minion wave. For, for him to clear this wave uh, with the Q, he can't do that. It's going to just, just ruin the whole last hitting uh, of this minion wave and he's going to miss a lot of CS. So he has to hit it. He has to auto the minions. And me... Realizing this, I could I could be up like right here. I'm pointing at my, <laughs> at my monitor. You guys can't see, but I could be right there, uh, and and it'd be fine for me to be right there. I I could be even like just be so close to him and just threaten. Like if I get an auto on you, I'm gonna take it far. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna auto E Q through you, and I'm gonna get away with it. And you're gonna lose the trade heavily and lose all the minions. So so that's just what I'm threatening right now. Even if he autos me, he gets autoed by the creeps, and uh, it's still in my favor. Yeah, that's good. That's really good for me. And I have uh, my corruption potions. It's really good. And I'm going to come down. And right now, I, 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 this is what I'm thinking right now. Let the minions push into me. Be near my tower more. Be safer. Deny him more CS. He's low on mana. And Amuba comes through. I Q through him. Nothing, nothing too big, nothing too huge. Uh, I wasn't worried at all. And now this is where this is where, where that technique I was talking about, uh, freezing the wave and denying him so much CS. It's 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 immense how much CS I deny him. So right now, twenty to eleven. I'm already doubled his CS. How much gold do I have right now? I have two, 200 more gold in him, about, yeah. And right now he knows, he knows he can't move up. He knows he can't be as aggressive as he is right now. He knows it. And he's low on mana and everything, so what, what can you do? I don't know what he's doing. I think he, um, is, and, and, and he's losing um, XP. He's losing a lot of XP. He doesn't, he doesn't get these, these XPs. I only okay. He doesn't get these ones up here. Oh, I walked into that. All right, so right here, I'm thinking. Uh, no, not right here. Next cannon wave. Basically, it comes down to me being uh, disciplined and patient. The ball's in my court. The longer this keeps up, the more uh, uh, CS tanking he's gonna do. The the more XP, more gold I'm gonna have over him. And this that's fine. That's winning. I'm I'm winning. Right now, CS wise, I'm a whole kill up on him. A whole kill up on him. A kill and a half up on him actually. CS wise. Do I have another charge on my pot? Uh, I think I don't. I don't think I do. Okay, now and I see this wave, and I'm thinking, okay, I want six. I'm just going to push in. Fuck it. The second I get six, I'm going to kill him. And how I'm going to kill him is that I'm going to queue through the, through the through a minion and, and fight him. Because I have full mana, so why not? Yeah. And I misclick. I misclick. Um, I misplay here. What, what I wanted to do here was 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 a uh, flash auto w and then e on him and that that would probably kill him right but uh, i think he moves up and i and i click like right here and it doesn't happen and i think if i if i would have done it right i i would have taken a tower shot i don't know if i could have killed him actually but i misplayed and I push this in really hard. I don't want to die to a Mumu. I don't know where Mumu is. He's gonna back. He's scared. 
But he wants to get the CS too. And I just want to push a woman wave. I'm just going to E over his stuff. I don't know what happens here. But I don't die. Yeah, I just, I just leave. So let's take a look at the CS count as of right now. I have 47 to his 31, and I'm up a kill. I get, get, get a pretty good buy, and I TP back in the lane. And I'm thinking, push it in really hard, he's gonna back. But then I'm thinking, wait a minute, I don't gotta push it in. I hear this why I realize I don't gotta push it in, and I can just wait for the minions to uh to pile up. And then and then just last it, and then deny MCS this way. Why, why reset the wave when I could put it in an advantageous position for me and force him to make mistakes? Because cause he could get farmed, but if he overextends, he dies. Just like this. Yep, just like that. Let's watch that again. So the whole goal of this, the main goal of this is to deny him CS. Give me CS, deny him XP. Things that could happen from this he makes a mistake and dies. Right? Because I'm near my tower. Uh, and if I'm moving shows, all, all it is one hop and I'm safe. All I could do is Q through a minion and I'm safe. And I see, I see this and immediately I'm like, I have my ult. Uh, Q, count, count my, hide, hide my animation in my Q. He's dead. And I, 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 wait, I wait for his, his, uh, his stun. To react to it, he doesn't throw it out, he's knocked up, I know he's airborne, so he can't throw out anything in that time. Get out my W, I see this, and I think it, I think it's a stun, because I just react to like an animation, right? I hop over it, and where I was, I know that's where he's going to throw it, so I don't want to land there, so that's why I move up. And I think it's trickier to move up this way than it is, it is into his tower, and it's more advantageous to move, you know, away from his tower. And I hear, um, I know I got him, I have a shit ton of health. So I just auto, auto, and my Q comes up, kill him. And right here, most players, what they would do, they would shove this in and back, right? But what I realized is that I have three charges on my pots. I have Dark Steel. I'm going to get full health again. Uh, just freeze it. Deny him all the CS. This, these minions would deny him CS. It's, they act just like a tower. Just like a tower. And I and yeah, we look at the CS again. CS difference. I have a kill, and then CS wise, almost double his CS thirty. Let's say I'm I'm a kill and a half up, so I have two kills and a half up on him right now. Gold wise, how much gold do I have over him? Uh, a th thousand, almost a thousand. I have eight hundred gold more than him. And I just bring these minions back. Yeah, I'm going in. Uh, let me slow it down. Yeah, and now I'm I'm up I'm up three kills. I'm up three kills now. Uh, almost a thousand gold difference. Nine minutes in, almost a thousand gold difference in, a, in in this in this matchup. It's important. It's huge. It's huge. And right now I'm just waiting for my shark, waiting for it to get up. And now with my shark's up, I'm just looking for him to mess up. Make look for him to make a mistake. That's all there is to it. I get pretty low, but I don't die. I'm thinking I gotta kill him now, but then he throws that out and I just back, because it's too dangerous. And I'm okay. So now let's look at the CS difference. I'm up two kills, plus I have a kill, so I'm up three kills. XP wise, uh, I'm up like almost like a full level and a half almost. Yeah, let's get to lane. Yeah, it pushes in because I know it's not gonna freeze. I think, no, I just asked it again, because I know he's gonna, um, what do I do? 
Oh yeah, Evelyn struggles with the dragon. He backed. I don't know why Egg's Wrath backed. That's weird. Like the lane's pushing into me. I'm just gonna reset it again. Not reset it, but like uh, freeze it. Hmm. Yeah, just look at the CS count. Like, I'm. Uh, well, how much CS am I up over him right now? Uh, like 36 right now, almost. 37, 38. And the numbers is gonna. The, the difference is gonna keep growing and growing. And now I just want to queue through a minion and kill him. Always threaten it. So next time he comes up, I'm just gonna kill him. I'm looking for him, trying to see him. A lot of times he has to start really far back to be safe, and then he um. A lot of times he has to start really far back to be safe, but that makes it so when he comes up, sometimes he can't get CS. He can't throw it out because it just won't connect to anything. Right here, I'm, I'm being really safe again. Dodging everything. Uh, time, trying to react to his stuff. I get his flash, that's fine. I take it. I take his flash, I'll go back to punishing him. And just freezing the wave. Counsels again. Yeah, fit. 50 CS difference, right? 50 CS difference, that's like, like, 4 kills. That's 4 kills. And I already have, I'm up 5 kills on him right now. Let's look at the gold difference. I'm at 4k. Wait, where is he at? Yeah, I'm at like 1,200 up on him right now. That's like, like exactly what I said, like 4 or 5 kills up on him. So when you're in the, in the lead on Fizz, this is how you would want to play it, ideally. My last game, I had I had poor um, lane, lane, not lane control, but like lane, lane awareness, that's what I would call it. I had poor lane awareness. With this game, my lane awareness, my, my minion awareness, my, my lane manipulation is on point. I play it really well. And just imagine, if I was, if I was a little bit tighter on my CS, I, I, I could be like 20 more up, I could be 20 more up on him. I could be like six kills up on him right now, and just just CS wise. Yep, I miss it. A little too greedy. That's fine. Wait, it hits him anyways. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't see that. Uh. That's funny. I didn't see that. It's fine. Uh, miss my see it. Miss my strike. That's not. That's not the end result that I want, right? The the end result is him losing all the CS. And I, I win the game through that way. I win the lane through through that. And I see him. He's roaming. He's gonna push it in. And guess what? You lose all the CS right here. You lose it. It's gone from. It's gone. All that XP from you. And I see B down here. I, I want to ice hop immediately just because I want to slow him, but then he flashes over. And then I B and he just hicks, he hooks me. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to lane here. Double his CS. Let's go down my up on him. 5k. Uh, 1000 up on him still. But my items are a lot cheaper to finish and have like better, like just sustain items and lane items. So the 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 advantage is even more so, like power spike wise, power wise, and my and just the kit and, and my champion, I have a huge advantage over. This is exactly what I want as Fizz. So we just keep on doing the same thing. Now this is very like uh, you have to be very disciplined for this, right? It's very easy to just just destroy the wave. All right. Again, he got he got too close, so I punish him. He dies. That's what happens. Pretty much, you're gonna see me kill him like six times in a row. 
That's because he gets too close and he dies. And my Q was on cooldown. Oh yeah, this is really important too. Um, how do I go about this team fight? So my Q was on cooldown, and I just Q through him. So it's a big deal. And I last hit with my W, right? Okay, so my W is up again. And I'll with my W. My W is up again. Whole time, my W is up and I'm last hitting. Getting all these kills. So now, uh, I was patient. I chilled out. Uh, I only Im involved myself in team fights that, that aren't high variant. I knew I was going to get kills if I, if I was there. Uh, and now, let's look at the goal difference. I, it's 2K. <laughs> 2K difference. <laughs> Insane. 2K difference at 17 minutes. Over an Eggs Wrath as Fizz. Yeah, I counter him, level 6, but but there's nothing he could do now. It's over. I, I, I punished him way too hard. This is just what happens when when you're able to get a lead as Fizz. And this is what should happen in every game when you get a lead as Fizz. And the way you throw it away, how, how you get rid of your lead, uh, what you could do on your end to ruin your lead. Pushing in the wave, roaming a lot, and, 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 ba and backing or push or shoving when you're not supposed to. That time when I was at 300 health, so many players would have just backed, but I stayed and I denied him even more CS. I increased the lead, the the, the deficit, the the gap between our us even even more. And I hear, I think my shark's up, and I was like, okay, queue up, he walks up, now okay. And I was uh, right now, I'm just looking for another ult. I'm just looking for another ult. Just deny him CS. This is just what happens. Uh, double his CS, more double, 70 CS difference, almost, that's like, uh, three, that's like six kills right there, almost. So right now I have like 11 kills per se, and he has like one, so I'm just like 10, like, I, it's like right now the difference between like gold wise is like, it's like 10, 10 kills. 7k, 2,500 2, is the difference right now. Doubled his CS. And, ma and imagine if I was better at last sitting, this could this could be like easily this could be 170, 165. And I missed my shark. That's fine. Just just bail out. That's cool. Fine. We're good. Just get out. And right now I'm thinking of being, but I'm like, mm, no, we got this. They're tanky. And I back out again. I see the 4v2. I'm like, mm, I don't want to. And I see Soraka coming in. I'm like, mm, we got it. So this is me just being patient, picking my fights on Fizz. I, I could pick where I want to go because my mobility and my high damage output. And I'm not I'm not overextending, I'm not doing too much here. And not nothing nothing too crazy. These guys are really cool. Um he's in my stream now, and he's in my stream. And I do it with this guy, he's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it, my okay. I think I'm just debating what, what should I buy, and I go Lich Bane here, and I save it for my Magi Soul Stealer. Yep. And I've still doubled his CS, keeping him weak, keeping him down. And this whole time, uh, I'm not making anything too risky. I'm not doing anything too insane. I'm always trying to find out where the jungler is, always trying to track the jungler. I'm looking all lanes, trying to see who's who's if they're seen or not, where they should where they would be. Do I have time for these all in kills? Oh, this is funny. Look at this. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a fucking terror, dude. I'm a monster. All right, let's do the same thing again. Same thing again. What can I do? 
Nothing. I'm three levels up on him. He's, he's not even close to being level 11. And I'm halfway to 14. It's insane. All streaming during this game. I met some really cool people this day. It was really cool. Alright. So now I'm just I'm pushing it in. I don't know where Exrath is. I think he's trying to go up top. And right here, this is what happens. If you win in your lane, you're putting pressure in your lane, he has to stay and farm it. And these guys, they don't have to do it with um, Exrath. Alright, I'm a shark. I want to punish him. I want to queue through a minion and kill him. So I wait till I see him. Wait till I see him in my vision. Alright. Wait for him to throw something out. And I, at this point, I know my damage is high enough to where I don't gotta uh, e, e after or E before or react to something. I can just kill him right off when he's airborne. So the second my, sh my shark is about to come up when I E, let's checkmate. And I don't go up here because I'm not sure if I could get anything out of it. Uh, and I know I could get a tower for sure, 100%. So, so like, over, like uh, basically, I argue between a 70 and a and a and a 100%. And I, and I took the tower. All right, gold difference. Immense 4k gold difference over my laner. Insane. This is this is your goal every game. They they were flaming the X draft so hard. He 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 was being roasted to a crisp by his enemy team. Uh, it was it was ins it's insane. It's insane. Uh, they they all typing before Exrath and all chat and all this stuff. And and then I mean, was like, be honest, Fizz. Did he even try to stun you? And he, he to be honest, he he can't. If I choose to react to a stun over predicting, if I keep my, my hands are cool, I'm not panicking. I'm not anxious. I just when I see it, I I jump. His stun should never land. And that's the answer I gave him. Uh, it's not Exrath's fault. Only thing that he that he did wrong was uh, not sh shoving the wave, not resetting the the, the freeze. A I movement mean, needs to come in and help reset the freeze. At this point, it's too late. And now, I'm just waiting for him to mess up again and ult him. And I see a Mumu, and I'm just like, I need to get out. Yeah. Another thing on Fizz, uh, you need you need to be comfortable with using your ultimate just as another spell. Because it has such a short cooldown that it it's, it's very okay. And right here, I'm thinking, they can't hit me, they can't damage me. Um, I can win these trades, Soraka's here. Yeah. I have Lich Bane. This is where Lich Bane comes in. In extended trades, Lich Bane is, is really good. That's why I got Lich Bane, because I'm pretty sure... I was gonna be in extended traits. I'm not doing anything too risky. I'm just staying in my lane, being where I, where I should be, being where things are, are most certain, certain. Almost a hundred CS difference. That's it. I almost have, I have a uh, hundred CS up. That's like, like seven kills, eight kills. I have 16 kills, so I, there's the 15 kill difference between me and him. And yeah, I just use my ultimate get out again. Um, no point losing my stacks, no point in dying. I see them, just, just get out. You know? It's not a huge deal. It's pretty simple. And I think I, think I go bot lane, push in bot lane. Or something, I do something. That's where I start rotating. Yeah, see all this is certain. Uh, just chill out, wait for the opportunity to happen. My team, they're doing really well. So I just pick back off them when the, when these team fights or, or um, fights engage or happen. When I choose to engage. Now yes, um, 
the Fizz versus Eggsraft matchup isn't always going to be that easy. He's not going to go down to 100 health. But how you punish Eggsraft is going to be the same. Alright, we get Baron. 200 CS up on Eggsraft. I mean, 100 um, CS up on Eggsraft. What's, what's the gold difference right now? Like fucking 6k? 6k gold difference? That's that's because I I've starved him, I gutted him, and when he makes a mistake, he he hangs himself. That's what Alice would say. He I make I let him hang himself. He he's he he nails himself to the cross there. You know, like there's nothing. I I just I just see it, and you just punish him. You, when they miss make a mistake, you punish him. That and as Fizz, you have such a strong punish. Uh, when you are laying against someone like Eggsrath, their punish is throwing a a, a Q at you, right? Or throwing throwing the stun and the the combo at you, and that's their punish. When you, when when um when Atalia punishes you, she just like you, she hits you with her, her third combo, right? But when Fizz gets a punish on you, you die. And when you die, Fizz has control of the lane, and he and when Fizz has control of the lane, if you have the knowledge of of freezing and controlling the wave and like kind of just knowing what the jungler is and stuff, they gut you. Your 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 lane's fucked. So. I now understand when top players talk about lanes being fucked, saying that it's over. Because the lane's over. When I was doing this to Exrath, it, if it was clear that his lane was over, that he lost, and he it's, it's he's done. There's nothing more that he could do. I... He's... He he's was useless for the entire game, and he took so long to scale that only, only until like 50 minutes in will he have his full build. Okay, let me pause it for the game ends. And like you can see, I have barely any assists, and I was in lane all the whole game. Uh, 100 CS difference at its, at, at its peak, maybe like 110, right? Uh, if I was good at last sitting, <laughs> it could have been I could have 250 right now. Uh, and that's and that's like 13, not 13, like 12 kills. Is every 13 CS, that's that's a kill, or 13 and a half. Uh, I just pick and chose my fights. I was Fizz. I have really good punish. When my ult's up, I have good escape. Um, I can escape anything. And I only, and only participated in team fights. Like you could saw, there was like three team fights. I, I could have walked like half a map to, and I could have gotten something. But I chose to stay in in my in my lane, because I know that I could for sure 100% keep Exorath just. Just useless. And make him type in all chat that this matchup's bullshit. That should be the goal every game. My itemization, let's talk about that real quick. Uh, basically, I chose Sheen because I felt that if they're in my lane, the long extended, extended traits, I'll win them all if I have Sheen. Uh, Soul Stealer because I, didn't, I felt like I wasn't going to die and I didn't, so that's that's good. I have Soraka, Maokai, and I want Zonius because I don't want to die. And my last item, Truthfully, uh, probably GA, because if I the only way for them to come back in the game is is if I die, and that just limits them their the comeback possibility, like their chances of winning by so much if I get a GA. But if it gets to the point where I need like a void staff and whatnot, I'll probably sell my GA or uh something, maybe maybe even my my medjice because if I'm not doing any damage, I think I'll get um M MR. But then that's when Twitch starts tearing up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much how I chose to. Uh, that's pretty much how how you should abuse a lane every game. If you get a lead, that's how you punish. Yeah, I hope you guys uh learned a lot. Uh, look at oh, look at this this is beautiful man. I'm climbing in. I'm plat three. It feels fucking great. But I hope you guys take away from this as how to punish, how to freeze, when to freeze, and the how how it rewards you in the game. Uh, take care, guys. Uh, let me know if I left any any questions. If I left anything out, uh, any matchups you want me to do a VOD review up next. I know this wasn't a good how to be Aegis Wrath matchup. 
but ho hopefully you learned a thing or two about you know just 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 that matchup too as well. Uh, check out the Discord. I'm always I'm always I'm always on. I always respond to you like in a minute. Uh, ask me to stream. I'll probably stream. Look at the YouTube. I have other videos. Uh, I'll do I'll do viewer vod reviews and I'll upload it to YouTube and you can have always have that resource as well. Yeah, I stream like every day. Uh, till next time, guys. Uh, Fizz is pretty cool.